I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos and we are on day four of our broadcast. Very pleased to have Anne Tutwiler. Thanks very much for coming. Special Representative, the Director General to the United Nations and to the World Economic Forum. So tell me what's on your mind. Well, one of the things we really want to emphasize when we're here is the importance of nutrition. We talk a lot in um, international development about food security, but we don't often talk about nutrition security, making sure people are getting enough um, micronutrients like mm -hmm. iron to prevent anemia, like vitamin A to prevent blindness. Um, now we really need to focus on making sure that people have a well-rounded diet, a quality diet. So I know that we're nearing the, the end of the Millennium Development Goals. I think the, the last thousand days start on the 6th of April, yes. I think. Is this part of fulfilling that um, development goal on, on extreme poverty, or is this something different? This is actually would be a new, new uh -huh. goal that we would okay. like to see in the next uh, mm -hmm. in the Sustainable Development Goals that are being uh, developed right now mm -hmm. by the United Nations and our member governments. Mm -hmm. It is not being measured in the current uh, okay. MDGs. So how do you do that? Well, I think first of all you have to set up some, some metrics uh, on what you want to look at and maybe you look at uh, the levels of iron mm -hmm. that people are consuming, the levels of vitamin A, vitamin C, all mm -hmm. of these, so you know if you're reaching your targets. Where do you think the, um, the problems are, the problem countries or, or areas? Well, what we're seeing is that a lot of countries that have made it uh, to be producing enough calories, enough energy for their mm -hmm. populations, uh, they have not yet um, been able to provide this kind of variety in the diet. And it's, it's very widespread. I don't think I could name mm -hmm. particular countries. Right. So what's next? So what do we what do we need to do besides the metrics? Um, does and also I wanted to also ask you: Does does war play a part? Because we've seen some pretty dreadful con conflicts, um, especially in in Africa. Does that impact the micronutrition as well? Certainly, when people are uh, deprived of food because of war, because they're refugees, or because they've been driven out of areas where they are farming, we see a very acute case both of hunger, but also this these um, malnutrition in terms of, of vitamins and, and mm -hmm. minerals. So it, it is an important factor. Um, but to your earlier question, mm -hmm. uh, one thing is we is to raise awareness of the fact that, that nutrition, it needs to be on the agenda uh, for, the, for the UN and for the governments here. But the other is to recognize that uh, this is not something that the UN or governments can tackle on their own, that mm -hmm. we need to have civil society engaged and we need to have the corporate sector engaged to make sure that our entire food system is delivering good quality food. I'm sure you're working with business as well, right? It's part of the reason I'm here. Uh -huh. yes, so. Fantastic. And thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here thank in you. Davos. And I'm Edie Lush. Wow.